Did you know that empty space is not actually empty? So uh, it turns out that empty space uh, has this type of particles popping in and out of existence. So in the empty space there are these fluctuations, quantum fluctuations that are particles are coming in and out of existence uh, in empty space. So it bring out the question what is space actually uh, what is space actually made of? So turns out that empty space is actually filled with um, quantum wave fields. So there are energy fields that are permeating all of space. So these energy fields uh, Sometimes these energy fields uh, can form uh, particles, subatomic particles like quarks can form out of these energy fields. So, what else? Man, my brain is shattering. Yeah, they are squeezing into my brain. Okay. So what do I want to say actually? I've even forgotten what I want to say. <laughs> okay. So what was it again? So this is very weird in the sense that um the stuff we thought was empty is actually not empty. So it's like there is no empty. What does that mean? So empty does not exist. Nothing does not exist. This is quite philosophical. In the sense that um, if we cannot find a physical, physical. Uh, concept of empty does empty really exist nothing does nothing really exist because if the space we thought to be empty is not actually empty that's kind of really weird something else is what Something else is that if something is coming out of nothing, empty space, so it is really mind blowing in the sense that something can come out of nothing. Huh. Very interesting. So it means that. All of a sudden, we can create some uh, something like a a star out of nothing. So perhaps that religious that religious notion that God created the universe from nothing it might not actually be very irrational. Because quantum mechanics is telling us that something can come out of nothing. The nothing we thought it was, uh, the space we thought was nothing, is actually filled with energy fields, which are uh, which allow particles to pop out of uh, to pop into existence. So, what the hell did I want to say? Man, my brain is being overwhelmed with ideas. It's like it's going to shatter. Okay, so what the hell did I want to say?
So if space is filled with energy fields, um, matter is forming, particles are forming, are being brought into existence. So why is there very little matter in space? Of course, uh, this is very useful in the sense that if there were a lot of matter in space, it would be um, the force of gravity would be very strong, so that it it, it would turn our, our universe into the original um, singularity. By the way, the way space was formed is that in the beginning, right before everything came into existence, there was this small point. And smooth, small point, which is very hot, which was very hot, called the singularity. So what happened? What happened was that this small point exploded, and then once it exploded, this small point, all the universe was condensed into this small point. I'm talking about the the size than smaller than the size of. Uh, of an atom of an electron so the universe exploded from this small point how do we know this how do we know that this is not just some speculations and imagination of some curious scientists out there we know this because of observation just in case someone is asking uh, observation shows that the um, galaxies which are far away from us are moving away from us it turns out that space is expanding faster than the speed of light actually nothing is nothing space the nothingness is that is actually moving breaking the speed cosmic speed limit of uh, about um, 300, um, three, 3 times 10 raised to 8 meters per second so it is breaking this cosmic speed limit and is receding away at the speed greater than the speed of light so by when we when we interpret this observation it means that in some point of time uh, space was close to one another and when we further speculate using the data of course that has been collected we can see that uh, at one point of time space was all space and time was in just a single point so this single point um, Cosmologists and physicists call it the um, singularity. Of course, this this is um, a little different from mathematical singularity, but not, 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 not that different because it is introducing the concepts of uh, infinity. Yes, like that. So uh, what happened is that in the beginning, uh, this point exploded and expanded, expanded. And there were matter and antimatter which was being formed. And it turned out that, as you know, mat when matter and antimatter meet, they annihilate one another. They turn into energy. They annihilate into an one. They, they interact by a process called annihilation. Whereby when they meet, they explode and they turn into energy. So it turns out that maybe there were more matter on the early universe. So say that there were matter and antimatter interacted and annihilated each other. So matter remained. And this is the matter that is forming uh, the stuff that we have today. Like the stars, galaxies, you and I. 
so where are we at? That everything we think it is more important like us, the stars, systems, solar systems and galaxies or actually remnants of annihilating explosion. So what uh, what else do I want to say? So um, the problem is that who, who, who told this singularity to explode? And who created this singularity in the first place? So that's the question uh, that is be, uh, currently beyond. Huh? That is what we don't know now. Who created this singularity? Why did it explode? Who told the... Why would it just stay the way it was? As a singular, why did it explode in the first place? So, uh, I think that's it for this video. That's what I wanted to put across. Thank you for watching. Until next time.